O'Donnell on Capitol Hill. Kelly, these calls for impeachment, uh, they took place during a Democratic leadership meeting last night for the inquiry. One source describes it as long, very emotional. Take us inside that meeting. What details have you learned about it? Well, these are regularly scheduled meetings, consider it sort of the Democratic family coming together at different levels of leadership and responsibility. And this is where they hash out their agenda and different things. And in this instance, it was about the dividing lines over impeachment, with some members arguing to the leadership team, including Speaker Nancy Pelosi, that the last straw should be Don McGahn, the former White House counsel, not coming today, not answering a subpoena. Others see it differently, but Nancy Pelosi and her leadership team are holding a line saying that the different chairmen of the various committees have produced results and she does not want to cut off that avenue of exploring different pieces of information that the various committees and the various chairmen are able to get to begin an impeachment process. Others say now is the time and that that would streamline all of the Democratic activities toward impeachment. There's a real heartfelt disagreement here and it is is the kind of thing that when you're inside the family, it does get heated, it does get spirited. It was described in all of those tones. So a vigorous argument, if you will, civil, I'm told, but still very passionate. To give you a sense of that, one of the people also speaking publicly, who's a member of the House Judiciary Committee, is Rhode Island's David Cicilline. Here's what he has to say. An impeachment inquiry is really just the formal opening of that question by, by the committee. In, in the Nixon impeachment, the impeachment inquiry began and the articles of impeachment were not voted out by the Judiciary Committee for about seven months. So this is just the beginning of the process.